It's not hard to find John Doctor. Just check in his garage. I work on old cars, actually like hot rods, building cars from the ground up. I like problem solving by looking at a problem and saying, how can we fix this or how can we make it better? But slowly, John's passion for his cars and life mysteriously started fading away. It was very subtle. I became lethargic and I was just disinterested in, in all of life. I, I didn't care about family or friends or the cars or hobbies. He'd come home from work, he'd sit in the chair, and he'd immediately go to sleep, wasn't interested in it, anything. At first, friends and family thought it was just a sign of aging, until one day at work. I was talking really in gibberish. I was hearing myself just fine, but my coworkers were hearing all kinds of crazy talk. After some convincing, John went to the ER, where the severity of the problem required specialized attention. John's official diagnosis is a complex droid fistula, uh, which led to significant uh, venous hypertension, uh, brain swelling, and a hemorrhagic infarct. But in simple terms, he had a very complex, abnormal network of blood vessels that allowed blood to be shunted to an abnormal region, leading to swelling in the brain, causing brain dysfunction, and even bleeding in the brain. So at the time of John's diagnosis, we had another major event going on in our family, and that was my son's wedding, which was taking place in two weeks. I, I could not imagine having to miss my own son's wedding. So we had to devise a plan that allowed us to expedite the time of his treatment. The meticulous remedy spanned two procedures, both minimally invasive. The first procedure mapped out the extent of the problem. The second procedure fixed it. We advanced a really fine catheter all the way into the brain uh, to be able to embolize, or in simple terms, plug up the abnormal vessels of the brain, hence addressing the shunting of the blood and the swelling in the brain. I woke up and immediately felt wonderful. I felt a lot better. He was more alert, was joking, laughing. He was, it was amazing. I was able to attend that, that wedding uh, just three days later. Dr. Wee made it happen so that we could enjoy the son's wedding together. I would absolutely recommend Dr. Wee and Texas Health Neurosurgery and Spine Specialists. Dr. Wee is really amazing. I trust him completely. He just gave us the quality and the reassurance that we were in the right hands. I've got a second lease on life, I really do. I've really gotten my life back because of this, it's wonderful. Thank you.